this is some leather armor known as Lamala. I believe I've said that correctly. If I haven't, please correct me. It is made using leather, and well, you could use steel or other types of aluminium or aluminum, as some people say, um, in a shape similar to this. Now, it's been painted a brown, and it's made using offcuts. And it is all tied together. If you look closely, you'll see lots and lots of different colours. Now, I've tied each individually rather than threading through. The idea was that it will make repairs easier should they be necessary. And it was just easier, I believe. To create this, you will need scraps of leather, scissors, a leather working hole punch, a vivid, and a paintbrush, as well as some brown paint. To start with, you will need to make a template, which can be made fairly simply on some cardstock. Pretty much, you're wanting about three centimeters and a bit of a curve so you can do whatever kind of pattern you like but this is what I chose to speed up the process I made a larger template rather than here's the one that I started with but by having a large template it obviously meant that I could cut out larger strips and get it done a lot faster um, one of the more interesting tools that you're probably going to need for this is one of these. The pieces once you've... So you, you draw in your template on the leather, as I have done here. Then you, you cut it out, so you're going to have something kind of like that. And then you punch your holes in it. Now, you've got a piece like this, and you want to get it to be like, oh, sorry, like that. Using paint, I chose this color, it's called Desperado because it's brown, and I thought, hey, it should look brown. And because I'm unorganized, I took a scrap of newspaper and put some paint on and paint on the fluffy side. Don't worry if you do end up filling up some of the holes, that is not a problem because we can punch those out later, or you can, because it, depending on where you are, it's a bit hard to help. And as you can see, it's Pretty quick process. Now the, the paint does two things. It makes the, the leather slightly harder. And it also keeps it um, uh, sort of rot resistant which is definitely what you need so you're gonna let this dry as you can see I've been busy I've painted all of these and all of the holes are punched most of them do however have a bit of paint in the holes but that's easy to fix uh, so the next step is to cut so for that you will obviously need scissors and it's incredibly straightforward. Probably best to go and there you have it. Nice and simple. Don't worry if they don't all, all match or you've got different slightly different shapes it will all look fine once it's put together uh, 
Okay, so for lacing, I went with waxed cord because, of course, it's rot resistant being waxed. It's not exactly period accurate, but it's more practical. So you want roughly, we'd say, about four centimeters ish for each piece. Now you get your two bits of leather. You put the waxed cord through both holes, and in this case we've got one that's filled, so prick it with the scissors and we're good to go. Yeah, it's nice and simple, hopefully. See, just like that. And then just tie it at least twice. You could, if you have a hot glue gun, you could always hot, use a bit of hot glue over the ends to hold the knots extra secure. And there's, there you are. You're one step closer to creating your own leather armor. I hope you found some of this helpful if you've got any questions or comments ask away i'm happy to help i will happily go into more detail but i hope i have at least helped you get some indication of how to make this really practical and awesome and interesting armor that i think more people should consider as far as reenactment goes so thanks for watching